सी आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट्स ऑडियो बुक हेल्थ एंड फिजिकल एजुकेशन द टेक्स्ट बुक फॉर क्लास नाइन्थ चैप्टर थ्री फिजिकल एजुकेशन पेज नंबर थर्टी थ्री पॉइंट वन इंट्रोडक्शन द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ फिजिकल एजुकेशन इज जनरली अंडरस्टूड एज ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑफ सम गेम्स स्पोर्ट्स और फिजिकल एजुकेशन एक्टिविटीज इन स्कूल्स there are schools where specific periods are allocated for this subject in the timetable it has been noticed that during such periods most of the students are either left on their own to play the games in a way they like or they are taken to the field where they engage themselves in different sports without the guidance or supervision of teachers in some schools selected students play games like football cricket volleyball hockey basketball and so on annual sports are organized but again in such activities only a few selected students participate all these experiences taken together provide a basic understanding of the physical education as a concept however when we go into details of the aims objectives and concepts of physical education we learn that they go beyond these traditional beliefs 3.2 as we know education particularly school education aims at the holistic development of children it provides students with opportunities to grow and develop as adults to be useful for the society it is important for us to know that one of the most important requirements for growing into healthy adulthood is the physical growth which supports cognitive development it is therefore necessary that all children get adequate opportunity to participate in free play in formal and formal games sports and yoga activities it is in this context that health has been made a significant component of the subject of physical education in the school education system of the country now there is a box on the left side of the page box number 3.1 it has some definitions number 1 According to Webster's dictionary physical education is an integral part of education which gives instructions in the development and care of the body ranging from simple calisthenic exercises to a course of study providing training in hygiene gymnastics and the performance and management of athletic games second definition according to columbia encyclopedia Physical education and training is an organized instruction in motor activities that contribute to the physical growth, health and body image of the individual. Now the third definition Central Advisory Board of Physical Education and Recreation defines physical education as an education through physical activities for the development of total personality of the child. to its fullness and perfection in body mind and spirit page number 31 the subject health and physical education adopts a holistic definition of health within which physical education and yoga contribute to the physical social emotional and mental development of a child in view of the above the meaning of physical education becomes a little different from what is commonly understood physical education comprises holistic education for the development of personality of the child to its fullest and perfection in body mind and spirit through engaging in regular physical activities physical education through the medium of physical activities helps individuals to attain and maintain physical fitness it contributes to physical efficiency mental alertness and the development of qualities like perseverance team spirit leadership and obedience to rules it develops personal and social skills among the learners and makes a positive impact on their physical social emotional and mental development it also contributes to the total health of learners and the community physical education thus can be defined as a subject that is not only focused on physical fitness but is also concerned with development of a number of skills abilities and attitudes for leading a healthy lifestyle 
it inculcates values like cooperation respect to others loyalty self confidence winning with grace and losing with hope 3.3 objectives of physical education as discussed above by now it may be clear to you that the aim of physical education is not only physical development but also to equip learners with knowledge skills capacities values and the enthusiasm to maintain and carry on a healthy lifestyle it promotes physical fitness develops motor skills and the understanding of rules concepts and strategies of playing games and sports students learn to either work as a part of a team or as individuals in a wide variety of competitive activities the main objectives of physical education are to develop motor abilities like strength speed endurance coordination flexibility agility and balance as they are important aspects for good performance in different games and sports develop techniques and tactics involved in organized physical activities games and sports acquire knowledge about human body as its functioning is influenced by physical activities understand the process of growth and development as participation in physical activities has positive relationship with it develop socio psychological aspects like control of emotions balanced behavior development of leadership and followership qualities and team spirit through participation in games and sports page number 32 develop positive health related fitness habits which can be practiced lifelong so as to prevent degenerative diseases activity 3.1 find out the following facts about your school and prepare a write up periods allocated for physical education in your school what do students do during physical education periods how many students of a class actually participate in activities during such periods What type of knowledge is provided by the teachers about the concerned games and sports related skills? What do the students do during these classes when they are left free? Compare your write up with the above objectives. What will you do if some of the objectives are not covered? 3.4 Scope of Physical Education Physical education has evolved as a multidisciplinary subject over time. and its scope is not confined to physical fitness and knowing the rules of games and sports it includes many topics which belong to other subjects like science biology genetics psychology and sociology it is possible that all the contents that constitute the scope of physical education may not find a place in the syllabus meant for school education however it contains all the content areas as stated below 3.4.1 Games and Sports as a Cultural Heritage The games and sport activities that you play today have a strong linkage to our culture. Sport activities which dominate any region is embedded in the cultural milieu. Some of the sports that reflect the culture of a region of our country are kho kho, kabaddi, archery, lism, wrestling and so on. Our ancestors survived on hunting with the use of throwing stones as well as bow and arrows. Running, jumping etc were used for survival and recreation. Later when man became more civilized it took the shape of competitive sports like athletics, wrestling, archery and so on. So we can see a strong bonding of our culture in the present evolution of games and sports. 3.4.2 mechanical aspects in physical education now on the left side of the page we have a box number 3.2 it has some points for you to remember physical education consists of games and sports as a cultural heritage mechanical aspects in physical education biological contents health education and wellness contents psychosocial content talent identification and training contents 3.4.2 mechanical aspects in physical education 
Physical education takes into consideration the mechanical aspects of various physical activities being performed. You are aware that the concepts regarding laws of motion, lever, force and its generation, maintenance of equilibrium, center of gravity and its impact on movements, law of acceleration, speed and its development form important contents area of physical education. You will also study these aspects in your science textbook. Page number 33 3.4.3 Biological Contents in Physical Education The contents drawn from the biological sciences take into consideration the areas of heredity and environment, growth and development, organs and systems, understanding of joints classification, and possible movements around these joints. In addition, muscles and their properties, effect of exercise on various systems of the body like circulatory, respiratory, muscular, digestive and skeletal systems are also linked to physical activities. 3.4.4 Health Education and Wellness Contents in Physical Education Physical education includes contents related to the area of health education through understanding the concept of hygiene, knowledge about various communicable and non-communicable diseases, problems relating to health and their prevention, proper nutrition and balanced diet, community health, school health service program, assessment of health status, prevention, Safety and first aid for common injuries are also included in the scope of physical education. 3.4.5 Psychosocial Content of Physical Education Psychosocial aspect of physical education extends to the study of areas regarding individual differences, personality development, learning of various skills, motivation and its techniques, anxiety management ethical and social values, group dynamics, cooperation, cohesiveness and learning. It also focuses on emotional development, relationships with peer or parents and others, self-concept and self-esteem. 3.4.6 Talent Identification and Training Content in Physical Education Physical education includes contents with regard to talent identification, Development of components in relation to specific sport. Understanding of various types of activities like aerobic, anaerobic, rhythmic and calisthenics. Training programs, learning and perfection of various movements, sport skills, techniques and tactical patterns, warming up, load adaptation, recovery and cooling down are also a part of physical education. You were just listening to this audiobook. Narrator, Neeraj Yado. Technical Coordinator, Buddy Langlingdo. Sound Recordist, Shanu Muksim. Assistants in Production, Ruchi Sharma. Directed and Produced by Vimalesh Chaudhary. This audiobook is presented to you by CIET and CERT, New Delhi, India.